Today, I'm going to share with you the easiest way to clean a laptop. This laptop is pretty old and keep shutting off. The reason it's shutting off is it gets very hot. It is difficult to open the case for the laptop. Not only you have to unscrew all the screw on the back side, but also you have to unscrew this side. You know, I have to pry this open and take the display off. This is a, a very old uh, e-machine, by the way. Today, I'm going to show you the easiest and simplest way to clean the laptop without opening the back panel. The key thing you need to clean, it's not the corner or anywhere here, but there are two crucial elements you need to clean. The first element is the fan. Yeah, you can see those little ventilation. So that's where the fan is. And the second place is there's a heat sink here in this region, but it's buried here. The easiest access is opening this part. Usually in order to update on the memory, the laptop design is easy to, you just open this part. This is, once you open, you can replace the memory. But the design, always the CPU is very close to the memory. The CPU is very close to the memory here, and you can actually open this and access a heat sink from here. You may think use vacuum cleaner, but I tried, it didn't work as well. I'll show you another way. Here is a compressor. You know, in order to, you, you can hear me. So I turn it off, but it's still, I have enough compressed air here. This is a, a nozzle. So the air will come out from here. Heat sink is under here. So you try to access from the memory opening on this side. And also to the fans. You can also clean here. But I'm going to compare this with a vacuum cleaner. I'm going to set up an ex experiment. This is just a straw and this is a vacuum cleaner. I'm going to use this and seal this and use this to suck the uh, dirt out. I'm going to measure the distance. See, it doesn't work until very close. It doesn't work until it gets very close. You see, this much. But if I use the blower, I'll go even further like this, much further. And you see, it's gone. That is the difference. And let's try again and say we go through this vent. See, it's gone. The dust is very easy. See, that's the difference. What is the concern? You may think the air compressor could be very strong. Alternative, you have to throw the laptop away or you take more time to open it. And another problem, you may not have a compressor. Who has the air compressor? Car repair shop or home remodeling contractor? US gas stations, you have free air pump for the tire. Without nozzle, you just you need to press this. The hand, you need to press this. See? This release handle is on here. Compared to mine, I have to use uh, the pen to release the air. You know, the connector is like this. In order to release the air, you need something like a pen. It will fit right here. If your pen is a little bit bigger, you can use a, a file to make it a, a little bit smaller. You see the hole is not hollow. So you have to use something to to get a hole. It, 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 it has a natural ventilation, so it's not a solid. And, and look at this. It's not a solid, so you have to just 
uh, punch it out, see, it come out the little piece. Okay, and I will try this and let's try this. Yeah, so there are two different kind of uh, adapter. This is mine and see it's still pretty tight. You have to use the pin cap to to do it. You know, one of the gas station didn't need this, only has this lever to control. That's the kind you do not need a pen cap, but this one you do. And the second is where did dirt go? We saw the dirt came out, but some may be trapped in the corner, but we really don't care in the corner. We want to remove the dirt from the fan and heat sink. Thank you for watching.